Hi everybody and welcome back to the Bitcoin Day Trader channel and today I just wanted to give you guys an update. It's been a while that I've posted a video on uh, YouTube. I've been without a computer for approximately a week. That's the main reason why I didn't make any videos. Uh, I didn't upload anything because I couldn't edit it. I did use my time to answer some emails and to help some of you guys out. Like two weeks ago my computer died. Well it didn't die but it didn't work anymore. It wasn't a good computer anymore so I had to upgrade it. So I bought some new components for my computer. I bought a new motherboard, a new CPU, a new solid state hard drive. What else did I buy? New memories, memory cards. Yeah, that's mainly it. That's the, the, the most important parts of the computer that I bought. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how that went. And I recorded some parts of it because uh, I thought it would be funny to record how I unboxed all the things and how I installed the components. So. This is my package. It's pretty awesome, look. It says here, pull to open. Oh, that's a huge package. Wow. Whoa, it actually looks as if it is a lot, you guys. I bought, how do you call it in English? DDR4, 16 gigabytes from Ballistic Sports, gaming memory, I guess. Here, we have the new motherboard. The one that I've been waiting for a long time. The new generation, 370. I really wanted the newest, so I can put in newer CPUs and stuff. What else do we got in here? The Core i5, Core i5. It is an eighth generation, so it's the newest one. And the eighth generation cores only fits on the 370 line. So there's a lot of 270, but I needed the 370 for this new core. This is the new hard drive that I was talking about. It's very small. I'm so curious. Wow, no way. Do you guys believe it? Check how small this is. This is 500 gigabytes. 10 years ago, this was 500 gigabytes, a half a terabyte, this. A couple of years ago, it was a lot smaller, you see? Is my screen too bright? But as you can see, it's a lot, it's a lot smaller. And the newest one, it's tiny. Well, it feels so fragile. Look at the size of this thing. This is a half a terabyte, you guys. That's so small. I thought they said it was like 10 centimeters or something, but this is even smaller. That's insane, man. I bought a hyper cooling whatever, a cooler for my CPU. People said it was a good one. And it is for the LGA1151 socket, and that's the socket for this motherboard. Uh, my LED monitor. This is a new power unit, because I didn't know if I can trust the 10 year old power unit on 10 years of involvement on, on motherboards, maybe the sockets were right or I don't know. I, I thought it would it would be smart to buy a new one. Let's get rid of the big box. Whoa, whoa, that's a big difference. Look at this new motherboard. This motherboard is so much more pretty than the other one. Let's compare it. Huge difference. Oh look, and there's the shield here. The M2 shield, apparently that's for the new solid state drive, the 500 gigabytes, it's supposed to get in here. I've been hating the performance of my computer for a very long time. I've been waiting on rendering, because you know video editing costs a lot of rendering. Look at this man, this is CPU. It says Intel Core i5, 3.6 gigahertz. Ooh, cool master. Can you see cool master, cool master. Wow, it's so pretty. Look at it, that's a nice one. <laughs> so this is eight gigabyte memory card. The Corsair RM750 watt max. I'm, I, I don't have that much watt, I don't need it. I thought about expanding maybe in the future. Yeah, a nice screen. That was it, it is safe now, wow. Wow, that was an easy installation. If I am correct, they tell us that here in the corner is a little triangle and here are two dents. I don't know if you can see it here and there and they are supposed to be 
if I'm correct, in this position. Flip this. Oh wow, can you guys see that? It can only be positioned in one way. There is no other way, so this must be the way. Now they say take off this plastic part. And now close the lid. You guys know I have never done this before. A little bit. I don't know if that can help. Okay, you can't see it very well, but these bolts, they're cut from one side a little bit. So they can only fit one way, they can't turn even. And what is the front and what is the back? I don't know, is there a front and a back? It should be pointing this way. How tight is too tight? Now this is supposed to lock on there. Our cooling system will be standing up like this. Do I still have space for my memory cards? Okay, Dima 3 first, Dima 2 first. One memory card. And the second one, and number 2 as well. That would be this one. Okay, so now I need to put this paste. You're supposed to smear it on top of the processor. Oh, this is already everything. I think we are supposed to spread it out evenly. If not, the pressure will do it. And now, we grab our UJS cooling. Don't forget, please peel off label. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Triple check. Man, this is scary, man. because it's so expensive. This one isn't entirely in. Why is it acting so mad? So as you can see the computer is finished now, it is installed. I had to install all the programs and that took me a while because yeah, it's a lot of work installing all the drivers and installing video editing programs and well all the programs that I have. Yeah, I, I had to reinstall BTC Recover obviously and all the components and I'm very happy with my computer right now. It's so fast. My, my last computer, it took like I think a couple of minutes for Windows to start up and uh, for you to have access because if you did something it wouldn't react for the first two three minutes so usually I started the computer I walked away grabbed something to drink did something else and yeah after a while I just sat behind the computer but now it takes 20 seconds so that's pretty damn fast man and I'm very happy with that I bought the MSI motherboard Z370, that's the new chipset. And you can install the Intel cores of the eighth generation. That's the reason why I bought that new motherboard. So I thought if I buy the newest motherboard, I can get a couple of generations of CPUs. And I think that's it's important to have the best motherboard there is when you start building it, because you plug in all the components on the motherboard. So it is the, the basis of the entire computer. I bought an, a huge cooler, Cooler Master CPU cooler. I didn't know it was that big. It looks pretty cool, man. I'm very happy with it. Like you have a strong computer and I can, I can overclock my CPU now. Standard, it's at 3.6 gigahertz, but I can overclock it to four and a half gigahertz. So that's, that's a cool thing. As you all know, my computer is working right now. I can edit this video. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was just a small vlog. Nothing in depth, nothing nothing like a tutorial, but yeah. But 
it's working and we can make new videos and that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna record I think one or two new tutorials. I'm not quite sure which one. I'm gonna make a requested tutorial that is the how to install BTC Recover on the Mac. Yeah, some people have a MacBook or an iMac and they use the OS X. They didn't know how to install it and they're asking me, is it possible to do this on Mac? Yes, it is possible to do this on Mac. It's even easier on Mac than on Windows. That's what I'm gonna do today. I wanna thank you all for watching this video and I wanna thank you guys for the donations you sent me because thanks to the donations I bought this new setup. The donations gave me the possibility to buy better equipment than I would do if I didn't have any donations. So. I'm very thankful for that. If you did enjoy this video, just let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.